everybody, welcome back to the shop. So what we're going to do here today is our first attempt at something new. We're going to take this scrap piece of cedar, got this crazy cutout here, and this piece of oak, and this shapoko, and that carbco, and we're going to see if we can do an inlay. We're going to do something simple, just the letter H. Where to go? Over here. We're going to put that H, inlay it in this piece. Let's get started. Now what we're going to do is change this from this 90 degree V bit to a 1 quarter inch end mill. Look at this here. Okay, time for a tool change and a material change. What we've created here is the, what we would call female. The next piece will set in there if everything goes correctly. I'm gonna make a little mark or put a little piece of paper or something right here so that I don't lose my zero. And this is all eyeball stuff because this is practice. This guy out. Slide this guy in. Put my clamping bar back in position. Tappy tap to hold it. Restart the machine. It thinks I've changed the tool. I haven't. Just like that, we have the male portion. Now, I didn't allow the machine to go all the way through. As you can see. But that is supposed to fit in that. Let's take this one over to the bandsaw, cut it loose, and we'll see how we make out. This is what happens when you don't turn on your dust collector. Here we are, we have both pieces. I've sanded the top of this one, sanded the top of this one. As you can see, that could not get any closer. See, if we give it a little tap, 
Don't hit the pinky. It's in there. Now I think to improve on that a little bit, I'll bevel these edges just a little bit by hand. Then I can tap it down in there. But all in all, not too bad for a practice run. Okay, so there you have it. I inlaid an H, oak, in the cedar. First try. It's not perfect, but I'm going to use this test for an upcoming project. So thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this little doodad, little video. And as always, give me a like, subscribe, and a share. We'll catch you on the next one.